Today, we're taking a moment to remember those we've lost. People who touched our lives in ways we'll always cherish. But today, we have a list of iconic stars who have left us. Legends somehow contributed their work, ended up passing away. Let's come together to honor their memory. So, in their honor, we're asking you to join us to like and subscribe this channel as a tribute to those we've lost. Let's keep their spirit alive by spreading kindness and joy. Patrice Lafont, born on August 21, 1939, in Marseille, France, is a distinguished French television presenter, actor, and producer. The son of the notable publisher Robert Lafont, who was immersed in a culturally rich environment from a young age, Patrice's career spans several decades, during which he has become a prominent figure in French media. Lafont began his career in the entertainment industry as an actor in the 1960s, appearing in various films and theatrical production. However, he found his true calling in television, where he quickly rose to fame. His charismatic personality and natural rapport with audiences made him a beloved television host. One of Lafont's most significant contributions to French television was his role as the host of the popular game show, which he began hosting in 1972. This show, combining elements of mathematics and language, became a staple of French television, and Lafont's involvement helped cement its status as a beloved program. Throughout his career, Lafont demonstrated versatility by hosting various other television programs, including talk shows and entertainment specials. His ability to adapt to different formats and connect with diverse audiences showcased his talent and contributed to his enduring popularity. Lafont died at the age of 84, and he died from cardiac arrest. Jay Conter, born on December 12, 1926, in Chicago, Illinois, was an influential American talent agent and film producer. Known for his keen eye for talent, and his substantial contributions to the film industry, Conter's career spanned several decades and left a lasting impact on Hollywood. Conter began his career in the entertainment industry in the 1940s when he joined the talent agency MCA. His natural talent for recognizing and nurturing actors quickly became apparent, and he played a crucial role in shaping the careers of some of Hollywood's most iconic stars. Among his notable early clients were Marlon Brando, Marilyn Monroe, and Grace Kelly, each of whom he helped guide to international fame and success. In 1956, Jay Cantor made a significant career move by joining the newly formed William Morris Agency, where he continued to build his reputation as a top talent agent. His client list expanded to include other major stars such as Paul Newman and Warren Beatty. Conter's ability to negotiate favorable deals and his strategic career management helped solidify his clients' statuses as major Hollywood icons. Conter's career took another pivotal turn in the 1960s when he transitioned from talent representation to film production. He joined Universal Pictures as vice president of production and later moved to Warner Bros., where he served as an executive. During his tenure at these major studios, Cantor was involved in the production of several notable films, contributing to the creative and logistical aspects of filmmaking. Cantor died at the age of 97 and he died from stroke. Roberto Herlitzka, born on October 2, 1937, in Turin, Italy, was a renowned Italian theater and film actor who appeared in 38 films starting from 1973. His father, Bruno Herlitzka, was a Czech Jew who emigrated from Brno, and his mother, Michaela Baruti, was an Italian Catholic translator. After his parents' marriage was annulled, his father remarried painter Georgina Lattes. To avoid the Italian racial laws, his father moved to Argentina in 1939, taking Roberto and his brother, who temporarily adopted their mother's surname, Baruti. In 1947, his half-sister Laura was born in Buenos Aires. Roberto attended high school in Turin and studied literature at the University of Turin before moving to Rome to live with his father, who had become a gallery owner. He trained under Orazio Costa at the National Academy of Dramatic Arts. Berlitzka's talent earned him the Ubu Award for Best Italian Actor for the 2002-2003 and 2003-2004 theater seasons. 
In 2004, he won a Nastro d'Argento for Best Actor and a David Di Donatello for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal of Aldo Moro in Marco Bellocchio's film Good Morning Night. He also received the Gassman Award for Best Actor for his performances in the plays Let Me Go Mother and Ligia. In 2013, he won the Gassman Award for Best Leading Actor for the film The Red and the Blue at the Bari International Film Festival. Roberto Herlitzka passed away naturally at the age of 86. His legacy in the world of Italian theater and cinema remains influential and celebrated. Arthur Miles, born on November 14, 1949, in the United States, was a talented American musician who excelled in blues, jazz, and R&B, and later made Italy his home. He began his professional music career at the age of 14 with his own bands. Miles studied singing with Patricia Warner at the School of Natural Voice in Los Angeles and also completed studies in music theory. He majored in journalism at Pasadena City College. In Los Angeles, he played with bands such as the Curb Feelers, Good Clean Fun, Hardworking, and the Blues Shakers. In 1974, he toured Japan with the Days Band. Later, he worked as a solo artist and vocalist, collaborating with musicians like Ose Feliciano, Big Joe Turner, Johnny Otis, Eddie Cleanhead Vincent, and Jimmy Bohorn. He also toured California with the Blues Society. In 1984, Miles moved to Italy, where he collaborated with well-known Italian artists including Paolo Conte, Loredana Berte, Pierangelo Bertoli, and Andrea Mingardi. He performed at notable events like the Carnavale di Venezia and the Umbria Jazz Festival and appeared on popular Italian TV shows such as Festival Bar, Torno Sabato, Domenica Inn, La Bella e la Bestia, Non Sola Moda, and Cantagiro. After performing at the Shimmy Jazz Club in Milan, Miles was invited by Renzo Arbore to join the TV show Quelli della Notte on Rai 2. He also sang Aya Aya, the Frank Raya band on the album The King of Money. Arthur Miles passed away naturally at the age of 74. His legacy as a versatile and passionate musician continues to be remembered and celebrated. Sheeta Rivera, the legendary Tony Award-winning actress and singer, passed away at the age of 91 after a brief illness. Rivera first appeared on stage at 19 as a principal dancer in the 1952 touring company of the musical Call Me Madam and made her Broadway debut the following year in Guys and Dolls. Her breakthrough came in 1957 when she originated the role of Anita in Stephen Sondheim's West Side Story, which catapulted her to fame. Rivera's illustrious stage career includes originating roles such as Velma Kelly in Chicago, Anna in The Rink, and Aurora in Kiss of the Spider Woman, with the latter two earning her Tony Awards for Best Performance by a Leading Actress in a Musical. She was one of the most nominated performers in Tony Awards history, receiving 10 nominations for her performances in shows like Bye Bye Birdie, Chicago, Merlin, Nine, and her career retrospective, Cheetah Rivera, The Dancer's Life. Rivera made her final Broadway appearance in the 2015 musical, The Visit. Rivera's extraordinary talent and contributions to the theater have left an indelible mark on Broadway history. Dr. Michael Mosley, a renowned British TV host and author of diet books, was found dead at age 67 on the Greek island of Simi after a days-long search. Mosley was a well-known figure in British media, contributing a column to the Daily Mail and authoring several diet books with a strong focus on health and science. His 2013 book, The Fast Diet, was particularly influential in popularizing intermittent fasting. Mosley frequently appeared on British television, primarily on BBC Two, where he contributed to various programs about science and wellness. Notable among these were Genius of Invention, a 2013 series on the history of British inventions and the long-running Trust Me, I'm a Doctor, which offered practical health advice with a touch of satirical humor. Dr. Ruth Westheimer, the pioneering sex therapist and media personality known for her candid and humorous advice on shows like Sexually Speaking and The Dr. Ruth Show, passed away on July 12th at the age of 96. Westheimer gained fame in the 1980s with her call-in radio show, Sexually Speaking, where she provided straightforward answers to listeners' questions about sex and relationships. She later moved to television, 
hosting several programs on Lifetime, including The Dr. Ruth Show. In addition to her media work, Westheimer created a board game, appeared in TV shows and films such as Quantum Leap, and authored over 40 books on sex and sexuality. She was inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame in 2019. Her life and career were highlighted in the 2013 play Becoming Dr. Ruth, starring Deborah Jo Rupp in the 2019 documentary film Ask Dr. Ruth. Claudio Reyes, born on May 5, 1960, in Chile, was a versatile Chilean singer, actor, politician, and comedian. He began his television career in 1984 with small roles in soap operas such as La Torre 10, La Represa, and Bella Ciaudas. His last role in a soap opera was in P.L. Canela in 2001. In 1989, Reyes expanded his career into music, contributing to the soundtrack of the TV series in which he acted. His cover of a song originally by Brazilian singer Antonio Marcos became a radio hit with the chorus, The Afternoon is Crying, and It's Because of You. During the 1990s, Reyes ventured into comedy on the show, Japanese Kanja, where he created memorable characters. Among them, Charlie Badalock gained significant popularity around 2000, making Reyes a star of the show. He frequently appeared on TV and made guest appearances on various popular programs. There was even a movie titled Kuma Channel, The True Story of Charlie Badalock, which Reyes described as following the life of Charlie, a villager who dreams of becoming an entertainer to honor his late father's wishes. Charlie Badalock became Reyes's most famous character. Reyes passed away at the age of 64 due to a heart attack. Al Jaffe, the celebrated cartoonist known for his work with Mad Magazine, passed away at the age of 102 due to multiple organ failure. Jaffe was the longest-serving contributor to MAD, with an impressive 65-year tenure from 1942 to 2020. He holds the Guinness World Record for the longest career as a comics artist. Jaffe is best known for creating the iconic MAD fold-in and the popular feature Snappy Answers to Stupid Question. He retired from cartooning in 2020 at the age of 99. Christian Oliver, the actor known for his roles as Snake Oiler in Speed Racer and Emil Brandt in The Good German, tragically died at the age of 51 in a plane crash that also claimed the lives of his two young daughters. Born Christian Klepser in Germany, Oliver moved to the United States to pursue a career in Hollywood. His other notable work includes appearances in TV shows such as Alarm for Cobra 11, Saved by the Bell, The New Class, Sense 8, and Hunter. In addition to acting, Oliver was also a writer and producer. Credits in films like Valkyrie, The Babysitter's Club, Hercules Reborn, and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. George Maharis, best known for his role as Buzz Murdoch on the 1960 drama series Route 66, passed away on May 24 at the age of 94, as confirmed by his long friend and caregiver, Mark Bahan to The Hollywood Reporter. Maharis's performance in Route 66, a spin-off of Naked City, earned him an Emmy nomination and led to roles in other television series such as Search for Tomorrow, Love Story, Journey to the Unknown, The Most Deadly Game, The Bionic Woman, Police Story, and Fantasy Island. His film credits include Quick Before It Melts, Sylvia, A Covenant with Death, The Happening, The Sword and the Sorcerer, and Doppelganger. Early in his career, Maharis also recorded a few albums with his 1962 single, Teach Me Tonight, making it onto the Billboard Hot 100. Sergio Calderon, a seasoned character actor known for his roles in the Pirates of the Caribbean and Men in Black franchises, passed away on May 31st at the age of 77. Born in Mexico, Calderon gained fame for his role as Captain Eduardo Villanueva in Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. 2007, and for playing Jose, who was actually just a head on a stick operated by an undercover alien in Men in Black, 1997. Prior to these roles, he appeared as River Pirate El Cajon and Bandit Malavita Valdez in several episodes of The A-Team from 1983 to 1984. Calderon's extensive career also included roles in The Missing, 2003, the horror film The Ruins, 2008, and Little Fockers, 2010 where he starred alongside Ben Stiller, Robert De Niro, and Barbara Streisand.
China. That could have been maybe 100, maybe 200 more million dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, Wayne Johnson has revealed that he is dealing with a serious abdominal injury that requires surgery. The injury involves a tear in his abdomen that has caused part of his intestines to protrude through the tear. This condition is severe and needs surgical intervention to prevent further complication. Johnson shared that this issue has been affecting him for some time and he decided to go public to raise awareness and potentially assist others facing similar challenges. In addition to addressing his physical health, Johnson has been open about his mental health struggles. He has spoken candidly about his battles with depression, describing periods of profound despair. Johnson stresses the importance of men discussing their mental health and encourages seeking help and support. His openness aims to reduce the stigma around mental health issues and foster more conversations about personal struggles. Johnson's transparency about these health challenges is helping to bring attention to often hidden issues, promoting a more supportive and understanding environment for those dealing with similar problems. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.